Welcome to video 4 for this unit on introducing proportional relationships. In this video, we're going to focus on representing proportional relationships with graphs. One way to represent a proportional relationship is with a graph. Here is a coordinate plane with the graph that represents different amounts that fit the situation. Blueberries cost $6 per pound. Different points on the graph tell us, for example, that two pounds of blueberries cost $12 and four and a half pounds of blueberries cost $27. Sometimes it makes sense to connect the points with the line, and sometimes it doesn't. We could buy, for example, 4.5 pounds of blueberries or 1.875 pounds of blueberries. So all the points in between the whole numbers makes sense in this situation. So any point on the line is meaningful. If the graph represented the cost for different numbers of sandwiches instead of pounds of blueberries, it might not make sense to connect the points with the line because it is often not possible to buy 4.5 sandwiches or 1.875 sandwiches. Even if only points make sense in the situation, though, sometimes we connect them with the line anyway to make the relationship easier to see. Graphs that represent proportional relationships all have a few things in common. Points that satisfy the proportional relationship lie on a straight line. The line that they lie on passes through the origin, 0, comma, 0. On this coordinate plane, the origin is marked with the cursive capital O. Here are some graphs that do not represent proportional relationships. In this graph, the points do not lie on a line. In this graph, there is a line, but it doesn't go through the origin. For the relationship presented in this table, y is proportional to x. We can see in the table that 5 fourths is the constant of proportionality because it's the y value when x is 1. The equation y equals 5 fourths x also represents this relationship. Here is the graph of this relationship. If y represents the distance in feet that a snail crawls in x minutes, then the point 4, 5 tells us that the snail can crawl 5 feet in 4 minutes. If y represents the cups of yogurt and x represents the teaspoons of cinnamon in a recipe for fruit dip, then the point 4, 5 tells us that you can mix four teaspoons of cinnamon with five cups of yogurt to make this fruit dip. We can find the constant of proportionality by looking at the graph. Because five-fourths is the y-coordinate of the point on the graph where the x-coordinate is one. This could mean the snail is traveling five-fourths feet per minute, or that the recipe calls for one and one-fourth cups of yogurt for every teaspoon of cinnamon. In general, when y is proportional to x, the corresponding constant of proportionality is the y value when x equals 1. Here is a graph that shows the price of blueberries at two different stores. Which store has a better price? We can compare points that have the same x value or the same y value. For example, the points 2, 12 and 3, 12 tell us that at store B you can get more pounds of blueberries for the same price. The points 3, 12 and 3, 18 tell us that at store A you have to pay more for the same quantity of blueberries. This means store B has the better price. We can also use the graphs to compare the constants of proportionality. 
the line representing store B goes through the point 1, 4. So the constant of proportionality is 4. This tells us that at store B, the blueberries cost $4 per pound. This is cheaper than the $6 per pound unit price at store A. Imagine that a faucet is leaking at a constant rate and that every two minutes, 10 milliliters of water leaks from the faucet. There is a proportional relationship between the volume of water and elapsed time. When we have two quantities in a proportional relationship, we have two choices when representing the relationship. We could say that the elapsed time is proportional to the volume of water. The corresponding constant of proportionality tells us that the faucet is leaking at a rate of one-fifth of a minute per milliliter. We could say that the volume of water is proportional to the elapsed time. The corresponding constant of proportionality tells us that the faucet is leaking at a rate of 5 milliliters per minute. Let's use V to represent volume in milliliters and T to represent time in minutes. Here are the graphs and equations that represent both ways of thinking about this relationship. Even though the relationship between time and volume is the same, we are making a different choice in each case about which variable to view as the independent variable. The graph on the left has V as the independent variable, and the graph on the right has T as the independent variable. Thank you for watching video 4 of 4 for this unit on proportional relationships.